what's going on guys so um i just filmed the makeup tutorial and i was like you know finishing up and it kind of dawned on me that i was tagged to do the um what is it called my plastic surgery story tag or whatever afro khadijah um but whoever it was i'll make sure i link her on the screen but i just want to say thank you for tagging me and i just wanted to do this tag real quick um because you know when you're younger you always have insecurities um you know as a woman as a girl you're just gonna have them it just kind of it's not a natural thing it's kind of a thing of growing up unless you were just born with awesome confidence if you were kudos to you but I wasn't so um, one of the things I was really uncomfortable about when I was younger were my gums they're brown <laughs> um not many people's gums are brown uh, you probably don't notice it if you have brown gums yourself but if you don't have brown gums you probably notice it on other people and um when I was like in high school you know I smile a lot I just naturally smile a lot and people would ask me why are your gums brown like what's wrong with them and I was kind of insecure about them at first because like I said I do smile a lot and people would notice them but I never really noticed them like at all like you know I grew up with them I've had them forever like so I didn't notice them um until I got in high school and people were asking about them so I just kind of got over it just because I do smile a lot and you know people would say uh, and then they would just be like whatever because then people would tell me oh you have a great smile so you know it really wasn't that big of a deal um it was just some a hindrance a small hindrance um, another thing is my forehead is large kind of got a, like a five head going on there um it's just something i had to get over i subconsciously now always part my hair to the side and cover my forehead it's just how i wear my hair i hate middle parts they accent my big forehead um so that's something i just kind of got comfortable with and you know twisted work for me um but i do still wear high buns i still wear you know my hair up pulled back so you know i just kind of got over it um you know you find beauty in yourself you find beauty in your face in other ways and you just move past your insecurities you move past the things um that bother you and i guess my last thing were um my last thing that kind of bothered me when i was younger i guess um you know i got teased about where my large breasticle area and my large bottom um i had big boobs for as long as i can remember i think when i went into high school i went in as a double d um you know and it just kind of went on from there i mean you kind of just get your boobs right when you're going into high school but i went in in like the largest size you know what i mean i, I wasn't a big girl i kind of was small frame i just had big boobs you know so that's what people would notice right away oh hey how you doing nicole your boobs are big but it was just you know it's something about me that just stands out and it's just there it's my butt and my big boobs and it is what it is i've come to love them i will never get a breast reduction um yes they're big no they don't bother my back it is what it is i can wear a large but i can wear an extra large and i love that about my body i love that about me that i can just go back and forth and i can be on both sides and i really just grew to love it i grew to learn how to work with it you know with your body you kind of just have to come to a point where you're comfortable I, like I said I'm not a small person I do wear plus size most of the time but I love that um you know I love that I'm like on the edge and I can wear large if I want to and I can wear extra large or 1x if I want to um it's just something that I've just grown to love about myself when you're learning yourself and you're loving yourself and you're finding your own inner beauty it's just you know it's something that you have to go through it's life you have to get there you know and um I personally didn't get there until I was like in my mid-20s um I just didn't get to that point you know till my mid-20s but some people get to it earlier some people get it to it later i've met older women that are still completely insecure about themselves how they look how they walk how they dress you know and it's just like i'm looking at them like how did you make it through <laughs> you know but some people are like that they just don't get comfortable right away they don't um understand themselves right away and you know it's all good so this is the purpose of these tags these uh plastic surgery story tags you know to show that you don't have to have plastic surgery to change yourself to think you're beautiful you can go through it you can learn to love yourself you can enjoy oh i have brown gums i don't care i'm gonna cheese for you bye
not, you know, it's just there. They're there. The point of the tag is to love yourself, to be yourself, to be comfortable in the skin that God gave you. He made you beautiful. He is a God that does not make mistakes. So why would he make a mistake making you? Think about it. Thank you, Khadija, for tagging me. I tag Miss A. Marie, my girl in Miss A. Marie. I also tag Chrissy Clark and I tag, um, I don't think she's done it yet, J. Joel. And she probably doesn't know anything about me, but I'm gonna tag her anyway. And I'm gonna put a link in her video and let her know that I tagged her because I just started watching her channel and I love it. She's hilarious. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.